So another glorious morning here in Portland Harbour, joined by David Hyvie, who I've known for far too long, from, uh, I can say, laser, laser days. Um, very involved in the moth glass. Can you tell us a bit about your sailing background and your role here? Yeah, I used to sell optimists and then against you in radials. Uh, had to go at lasers for a bit, but realised I wasn't fit enough. Uh, then got a real job as a teacher. Um, and I've sailed RS 200s, 800s, 400s, and then decided to go foiling mothing about five years ago. Yeah. But before I say, I have to ask that, I don't think you can ever be fit enough to sail an Olympic class because you always could be <laughs> fitter and fitter and fitter. But there must be a, a, a big fitness requirement for the moths, the speed you guys go hurtling around the racetrack. I've got to admit, it's my biggest weakness. <laughs> I get too many school-free dinners. Um, but, yeah, you, you certainly fitness is a huge thing. But they tend to be short, sharp races. So I think that's the only reason I tend to get away with it just a little bit. And, and lots of races, is that right? You know, it's not just sort of one or two a day? Yeah, we'll have... Um, I think the plan for the Worlds is four races. Um, because of the way the Grand Prix finishing works, if you get lapped, you still get a finish. You don't have to go around all of the laps. So essentially, we're only doing two laps. So there'll be short shot races, about 18 to 20 minutes maximum. So uh, that really tight turnaround, yeah? Yeah, really tight turnaround. Um, David CJ is going to be really good, hopefully. And we've got two flights out really quick. Uh, you, you put the pressure on him now. <laughs> it's a tricky job to do. It's a really, really difficult job to do, <laughs> doing the moths here. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I couldn't. I have enough problems running, you know, Castle Club, <laughs> club Racing, Castle Cove Club Racing. Um, you say you're a school teacher. Um, I see you here a lot. How do you manage, like, having a, I, I hate this phrase, but how do you manage a proper job and uh, this beast? I've got a very good headmaster. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Vessi. Uh, you, you had to say that. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> Camford School, great school, send your kids. Um, essentially, he's given me a week and a half off to do the World Championships, which is brilliant. It's luckily in the middle of the exam period, which is great. This is half term, so therefore I've had managed to get this week off to train anyway. So the timing of this World Championships was, was actually pretty good. I'm only missing a day's worth of lessons, actually, to take a week and a half off. Did, did you have anything to do with that timing? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not this time. Um, I maybe have in the past, but not on this one. No. Well, I'm sure the kids are working super, super hard. I won't even have time to, to watch your interview. But you're involved with the committee and you have a very important role with the sponsorship. Yeah, so we've got um, some brilliant sponsors for this event. Um, our titles, but yeah, most of them on my boat as well. Um, our title sponsors, Wetsuit Outlet and Zyke, um, they've given a quite substantial amount of money for it. So if you want to buy a wetsuit, head over to Wetsuit Outlet and buy a Zyke one from them as well. That, that's an easy sell, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, completely kitted out on it as well. Um, yeah, brilliant kit, um, brilliant sponsors. They really have given us a lot of money to go towards the um, social event here, so it should be good. And that's the important part of it. Uh, we've got this, um, I've got to get it wrong if I'm not careful, we've got the UK Open coming up, yep. that's a warm up. And then can you tell us about the actual Worlds itself? Because you've got a reserve day bedded in there. Yeah, so the idea is we've got three days of qualifying where you'll be split randomly into fleets um, and then do four races a day. And then we've got a lay day in the middle, which we're almost certainly going to end up using because just the way that wind always doesn't work how you're meant to. Um, and then we've got three days then of Gold Fleet and Silver Fleet racing after that. Awesome. And uh, you said to me earlier, I need to press people more to get the names for, for runners and riders. Who's your top tip, David Hyvie? Uh I'm not allowed to say me. Um, Brad Funk is going really fast at the moment. Jack Weatherall, um, he's just walking off behind us, is also very fast at the moment. Rob Greenhouse is crazily fast downwind at the moment. There's a group of uh, Kiwi sailors uh, that have come over. Jake Pye seems really, really quick at the moment. I probably missed a couple off there. Um, we've got a few Aussies who haven't even turned up yet because they're off pro sailing. So I think the front of the fleet is going to be yeah, really, really tight, actually. Stacked. So lots more people for me to interview. <laughs> yep, yep. Loads of people for you to interview. Yep. Brilliant. I'll do my best. Thank you very much. And I guess you want to put the boat the right way around on, on the water. I'm going to go now. Thank, thank you. <laughs>